The Singapore Civil Defence Force has commissioned three new vessels to enhance its marine firefighting capabilities in view of the increasing volume of sea traffic. Two, one. The wife of Home Affairs Minister Keisha Mugam commissioned the vessels this afternoon. They will be operational next year. Will help deal with rising maritime emergencies. Last year, SCDF responded to 14 such emergency calls. It was the highest number since 2012 when it took over marine firefighting operations from the Maritime and Port Authority. And since then, it has trained more marine firefighters to deal with major emergencies. And these include chemical, biological, and radio radiological, also known as CBR incidents. The threats are multiplying. Today, you have CBR possibilities, incidents, terrorism, of course, the likelihood of mass casualties, and means planning for mass evacuation of crew passengers. And SCDF has been building up its capabilities to deal with all of this. You are looking at the most powerful firefighting vessel in the world. It has 12 water and foam monitors that can pump out up to 240,000 litres per minute. That is equivalent to filling an Olympic-sized swimming pool in about 10 minutes. It requires only four people to operate and can be used in firefighting and rescue operations, not just at sea, but also on land. The other important role that it's, it serves is it is able to uh, support our land-based operations with uh, a high volume uh, shore water supply. So this allows the platform to uh, complement our land-based operations uh, as well as, uh, as uh, our marine operations. The vessel is also the first in the world to use a dynamic positioning system. It factors in sea and wind conditions, GPS and other onboard sensors to keep the ship stable when high water pressure is being generated during firefighting operations. There is also the marine rescue vessel which is the primary vessel for major incidents. It is capable of responding to chemical, biological and radiological incidents as well as firefighting and rescue operations. Meanwhile, this heavy rescue vessel is designed for mass casualty incidents and can carry up to 300 people. It has a medical treatment room and a decontamination chamber. We are now not only able to operate within our busy port uh, managing marine emergencies with much less manpower, but we are also better able to respond more effectively to uh, maritime security related scenarios such as uh, chem, bio and radiological incidents. As our new platforms are equipped with uh, features such as uh, positive pressure compartments as well as air filtration systems. The three new vessels are further enhancements to SCDF's maritime capabilities. That brings its total fleet size to eight, after it commissioned two rapid response fire vessels in 2017 to respond to incidents at shallow depths.